Welcome to 411 Carline. You can find us at 411carline.com or you can set up an appointment or ask any questions, 952-540-9000. Free Carfax is available at 411carline.com by clicking on the Carfax icon next to the vehicle, either on the uh, inventory page or on the vehicle details page. So you may find the free Carfax there. Please give us a call or set up an appointment on our website. We are still by appointment. This is a one owner 2010 Toyota Tundra, about 124,000 miles on it. It's relatively clean for the year in the miles. It's what they call a grade, which I believe is the base model. Toyotas are known for their reliability. In this 4.6 liter V8, they no longer have a timing belt, it's a timing chain, so there is not that maintenance. We just sent it through an inspection at a local mechanic shop. They recommended putting new brake pads and rotors on it. Let's see if you can see those in there. So, yep, brand new rotors, brand new pads, and then I believe they did calipers as well, they said. Hardware kit. Oh, front hardware kit, rear calipers, that's right. So it's got brand new rear calipers, brand new pads and rotors all the way around. Of course, they checked oil and all that stuff as well. I believe they changed the oil, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, the exterior is pretty clean. I didn't see any major, there's a couple scratches you can see, like they're so light that it's hard for the camera to pick them up. A couple scratches down there. Bumpers are pretty clean. Maybe a little scratch. No, that's not even a scratch. There's a little bit of stuff from the car wash on there. Um, chrome will clean up really nice. I just ran it through the car wash to get some photos of it. There is tape along the bottom of the bed here. So, not sure the story on that. So yeah, I don't see a lot of rock chips or anything, and again, this stuff is actually uh, from the car wash. It was pretty clean when it came in. The biggest thing I saw was maybe someone cleaned the headlights or something and scuffed the chrome, but hey, it's a 124,000 mile truck, so buying one of these for the reliability and the uh, tow capacity and everything so interior looks pretty good um, obviously the carpet's gray so you're gonna get a little bit of discoloration uh, but the seats and everything look pretty good headliner looked pretty clean power windows power locks remote start two sets of keys AC works great, I was blasting that before. I was looking around, I did not see Bluetooth, but it does have an AUX port, so you can plug your phone in there. It does have a tow package, tow haul mode right there, you can see it. And then it has uh, manual shifting, I believe, right there. So, the clock up there, uh, thermometer, it does have cruise control. This is on one of our other ones too. I, I think this is some sort of adaptive lights, but I'll have to figure that out. I don't actually know what that is. So. It's got this center console here, um, which opens, uh, opens there, opens here. And then this actually flips up and it's another seat. So it's a six passenger. Let's see, this is the only real stain. I didn't see that until after taking pictures, but should be able to get that out. So, I like to be honest and transparent. That's why we do these videos, show you everything about the vehicle. It has uh, Toyota running boards. Now it's on the aftermarkets. Doors look pretty good. There's a couple scratches here and there on the panels, but like I said, again, to be expected for the you're in the miles. 
seat does fold up here. Usually they have a compartment under here, so uh, this one has extra space, which is kind of nice if you have a pets or anything like that. You can put the kennels back here, or at least keep them back there if you don't kennel them. Tires are in good condition. They would have to measure them, but they look like they're about 70%, somewhere around there. Somebody, before we got it, uh, did undercoat the frame. I don't usually like to do that, but um, it looks really nice. It's professionally done, uh, very, very well done. It actually fooled me when it came in. I think I had to point it out to me, so just the, like the exhaust and everything looks so clean under this one that it uh, definitely fooled me, so. Plastic bed liner. Oof. Usually I take a picture under here, but I didn't, so it looks pretty good under there. There's a little bit of the uh, flandress starting along like the inside of the tailgate here. Someone painted it black, it looks like. You can see it's kind of chipped off, so it wasn't us. It's from New York, so it's not 100% rust-free, but this one is super clean compared to a Minnesota truck. With the same miles and stuff, a Minnesota truck would be just rotted, so. I assume that's probably why they did this as well. Probably because of that little uh, pinch weld there. So it does have the tow package, so you can see it's got the 7 and the 4 there. Runs super smooth, drives really well, especially with the new brakes. It's got a tunnel cover, I haven't rolled it up yet, but it's a roll up tunnel cover, of course. couple scratches on the door panels but nothing concerning it does have side airbags some people ask that also has side curtain airbags so we'll pop the hood and take a look under there my phone does pick up the small engine noises uh, for some reason, it picks up stuff the human ear can't pick up, so if there's any ticking, it's not any problems, it's just my phone picking up the bell train noise, so looks relatively clean under here. There's a couple signs of the East Coast, like here you get a little bit more like rust on the top side of things, but again, for a 2010, pretty clean, you know, you look at the brake lines and stuff, that's just and it's just dirt, but I forgot to clean the engine bay when I was doing this. It didn't need detail, so we just cleaned it up quick. But of course I forgot to clean this, so this is exactly how it came in. Take a look uh, in here. So yeah, again, I mean, I was looking and like the, there's no overspray on the foil and stuff, so that's why I think this is probably professionally done. I mean, the frame looks perfect actually, other than you know, the paint on it, obviously, but it looks like it was pretty clean before they undercoated it. There's no. You look at like the transfer case and. The exhaust is kind of what I was looking at. The muffler looks super clean. Rear diff. Yeah, when I was looking under here, I saw like a resonator there that looked. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Pretty clean Toyota. So. Again, you can find the free car facts at 411carline.com. You can set up an appointment by calling 952-540-9000 or on our website, 411carline.com. Thanks for your time. Enjoy your day.